Oh my God. Patias Negra Marginata adult crossing the road right in front of me. I do not believe this. It is huge. And welcome to the second installment of my Northern Thailand series. Things went pretty damn well on the first episode. That was like one of the all-time goat nights of herping, all-time goat videos ever. Hold on, there's a car coming. And we're back at it here again for another six nights, which is so exciting. The rains have been coming in thick and fast. Rainy season is officially here in Northern Thailand, and I'm gonna get searching this morning, see what shows up on the road. Let's go. No snakes yet, but uh, I did find a bunch of miniature pigs that are hanging out with some chickens on the side of the road. <laughs> what the boss? So I saw zero snakes in the morning, but wasn't out too long because I had to go and take care of some car stuff. While I was doing the car stuff, it chucked it down with rain. So I was like, why not do a little bit of cruising in some side roads on the way back? And you'll never guess what I found. Another lifer. This here is, I'll go out on a limb here and say another one of Thailand's rarest snakes. This is Leopeltis frenata, but I had no idea they occurred this low. I'm not, I'm at like 1,100 meters or something right now. I'm pretty sure these had only ever been recorded around like 1,600 meters and up. And here one is just on the road after the rain just as you would dream to find one. And by the way, this thing is huge. It is huge. I had no idea they even got this big. <gasps> what the? I am actually mind blown. Oh, lighting's terrible from this angle. Let's, let's come from this side. Ah, oh, now you can see this guy. Such a cool snake. I mean, actually, now that you mention it, it probably to a lot of you. All right, let's pick him up. Probably two, okay, stop the freak out. It looks probably like a common snake to a lot of you, like just a little brown snake, but it's got some awesome striping on its neck, the striping on the body. And from what I know about these, they cruise around eating the butts of spiders, <laughs> like the abdomen of spiders. And that's their main prey source. Damn, that is a beautiful snake right there. Okay, maybe not so beautiful. It's beautiful to me because it's super rare and I was dreaming of seeing one. And this is turning into a crazy trip. First snake of the day, of our second full day here. I'm absolutely hyped. Gonna take some pictures of this bad boy, then uh, do a bit more cruising, see if I find something else. If not, I'll catch you guys later. Forgot to film an intro to the start of the evening's herping, so this is my way of saying that we're beginning now. Let's hope something shows up before dark. If not, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of stuff around after. I just momentarily stepped down to this stream and uh, yeah, same stream as I got the keelback the other night. This time I got a different species of keelback. I got the Kasi keelback. I was talking about that one in the previous video and uh, this is it right here. They're very small in this area, very different to the Kasi keelbacks I see on the western side of Thailand. Some people say it's a different species here, probably due to get split. But uh, yeah, I've actually seen these once before a few years ago when I came here. And a lot of people have seen them this year, so I'm assuming they are common here, although I never had that much luck with them. I've seen an equal amount here as a uh, Hebeus igneus, but yeah, these guys have the white venter with the black spots along the edge, clearly distinguishing it from uh, igneus if there wasn't already enough clear evidence. This is a small one. They do get bigger than this. This is certainly a juvenile. But yeah, I'm going to grab some pictures and then let it go. Not entirely dark, probably the same time we got the copperhead racer or radiated rat snake in the last video. So yeah, technically counts as a daytime snake. No, it definitely doesn't. This is nighttime. <laughs> All right, it started raining way too much. So we were basically truncating them that night and going home, but en route back in the rain, we got a, yeah, it may look like the same slug snake we've been seeing a lot of, but actually it's not. This is Parius CF Margarita for us. So Marg and, uh, I've never seen them at this location before. I've seen a couple DORs and I always saw that they never had any collar. So yeah, I really wanted to see one for that specific purpose. And it's going past the cricket. But yeah, I'm gonna pick it up, hold on. Yeah, unfortunately my worst fears are realized tonight. We got trapped in the bike in pouring rain. Um, at least we saw some snakes though, that's not so bad. And maybe I'll get out again later, but for now, yeah, you can see it's just Mark. All right, another mug in the rain. 
it's just eased off now so i might stay out cruising a little bit longer but yeah this one you can really see no collar whatsoever hanging out at around 900 meters above sea level this one individual very nice gonna let it cruise off the road though all right next snake of the night is a new one for the trip finally we got one of the other species of green viper we spent so much time in the upper elevations that we haven't seen either popes or goy and if you guys haven't figured it out by now this one is trimerosaurus goy a little little hatchling you can tell by the red stripe on the tail specifically and the very pale underside of the head similar to albalabris in that sense but yeah guo's pit viper in the flesh it's a little boss look and then itty bitty little guy let's move him off the road before some traffic comes all right just got a, another neon green bean one of the first ones i've walked on the side of a stream figured i'd do so a little bit more stream walking tonight see what shows up i actually did get a really good gecko but unfortunately i can't show it on the channel i'm sorry about that guys but my friends are working on something but yeah check it out gumprecti juvenile decent sized little juvie female all right finally got my first pope's pit viper of the trip I wouldn't exactly say it was a long awaited find by any stretch of the imagination, but it's funny that I went almost three nights here without seeing a single one. That just shows that I was just hanging out at the high elevations or herping during the day. This female is monstrous, by the way. Check out the size of her next to my hand. Very, very good size. First big viper. Ooh, she's getting defensive now too. Oh. People like these a lot. Uh, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of green vipers, but I understand why for those who aren't so familiar with them. So I heard some calls beside the road and I managed to track down this uh, Caryxilus, I think it's Vermiculatus, these ones. It's cool, like mossy frog. Pretty nice little looking frogs you get up here in these mountains and, and across much of Thailand is a very similar one to this. Wait, who? Who's stopping? Like, who the fuck is, who is, who is beeping at me? What the, what the, ass? what the guppy ass? absolute reckless endangerment of life right so i'll try to explain the story behind why this guy just showed up on the road in the middle of the night basically keith was supposed to go to taiwan i was supposed to go with him but firstly i cancelled then some bossery came up and keith's trip got cancelled and so he just last minute booked a flight to come to nan and visit me here and spend the rest of the week herping, which uh, is pretty rogue. We were originally gonna surprise Cass, but she already went to sleep that night because he was like four hours late. But now there's two of us and we're getting out in the morning after a night of heavy rain to see what's moving. Probably nothing, but hell, we'll get in the vehicles, we'll roll the dice, we'll see what shows up. Holy fuck, guys. Holy shit. Oh my God. Patias Nigra Marginata adult crossing the road right in front of me i do not believe this it is huge it's over two meters long dream come true dream come true look at this snake guys look at this snake holy shit. all right i'm gonna catch it off camera okay guys i calmed it down and got cass and keith here to look and now you can see what is undoubtedly one of the best colubrids I've ever seen in my life. Possibly the best. I mean, already on this trip, I think I've got two of my top three ever finds, which is just ridiculous. I mean, look at this thing. 2.5 meters of some of the most beautiful snake I have ever seen. I mean, take a look at the mid-body where it transitions from green to black. It becomes like golden coloration with these intricate green speckling, the emerald green on the forebody, the black stripes on the tail, and of course, the orange head. It reminds you of the Kinabalu crate in that it's like three snakes in one. Sorry about that, there was some traffic, but yeah, this snake is incredibly rare. I don't even know how to describe to those of you that don't know how rare this is. Obviously, you'll know that I got incredibly lucky and I saw a juvenile last September, but getting an adult, I mean, we're one of the first people to ever catch an adult in Thailand, let alone see one too. They only occur up here in the far northeast of Thailand and was undoubtedly one of my dream snakes to see. Seeing that cross in the road, I just couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe my luck. I was just in awe. It was all I dream about while driving along is seeing one of these in the road and it actually happened. Incredible. Right, so the snake was found exactly there. He was going across this way. 
So we're gonna say goodbye. It pains me to have to say goodbye to this incredible animal, but I mean, it's giant. It is giant. I picked it up a few minutes ago to get a picture of me holding it lengthwise. And I will tell you without a doubt, this thing is longer than 2.5 meters. All right, so we just released the TS and we're gonna go hike a little trail for a bit, just in the late afternoon here, see if anything shows up and then we'll get dinner and head out. Okay, first find while hiking in the afternoon is this uh, stream skink, Tropidophora species, way up here at 1,700 meters. So it's probably like a species I've one, never seen before and two, very interesting, probably rare. It wasn't even on the like, in anywhere near water though, it was just crossing the trail. Kind of crazy. I mean, look at this thing. It's got lovely oranges on the side. And what's cool about these is they're so rough. Like, they got a texture unlike any other small skink. Other skinks are all smooth, and these guys are just so rough. It's crazy. But yeah, cool find. All right, next find of our daytime walk is another lizard. It's this uh, gravid female Acanthosaura lepidogaster. She's been hanging out like down here on the forest floor. So she's like really, really dark in coloration. Not because I picked her up. She was exactly like this when I saw her scuttling across the path, but she's gravid. So I'm going to put her back ASAP. Uh, the males are absolutely incredible. With their joker makeup. All right, next thing we got on this hike, I uh, spotted this little skink running around. This is Sphenomorphus indicus. Not sure what the common name is, like Indian leaf litter skink or something like that. You can kind of tell by this like row of spots it has on the side. When they're juveniles, those are much more pronounced and they become more kind of brown and sunscape, sun skink looking into adulthood. But these are kind of common around here. See them every now and again. Keith's just back there struggling on the trail. And I got our first snake of the daytime walk. In there, you can see a little juvenile Gumprex pit viper chilling in ambush during the daytime. Way up here at 1,800 meters above sea level. Cute little guy. We're just going to leave him there. Maybe I'll try and get a slightly closer look for you. Lighting's not fantastic, so apologies for that. But an ant just went on his head, so he moved. And that's where we're going to wrap up for this episode. Make sure you drop a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed. And we'll be back very soon with another installment from the Nan Trip and then some crazy videos.